Ho AI. Does it suck or is it worth the hype? We're going to find out. All right, so before I talk about who it's for and how to actually use it, I want to talk about what it is. Because if you just go onto po.com, it's kind of unclear what it actually does. So we think about Po as a chat interface. So it's similar to ChatGPT, except it's an interface to other large language models. So not only can you access OpenAI's language models, but you can also access Llama from Facebook, Claude, and a handful of other large language models so that you can actually use them like you would use ChatGPT. But it's slightly more than that. It's also got a marketplace side to it where creators build and design bots, very similar to how GPTs are built in OpenAI. Now, if that didn't make any sense to you, just hold on and I'll show you. All right, so I'm going to start by popping in po.com into here. Go ahead and log in with Google. So once we're logged in, we should be looking at this screen. This is the main Po dashboard. You're going to see the prompt in the middle of the screen and a bit of a navigation on the left side here. I'm going to start by showing you just the regular prompt function. Can you write an intro to this you too. All right. Can you write an intro to a YouTube video about Poe.com? As you can see, the assistant actually gives us that info. This is basically what you're going to expect from uh, Poe's assistant. And this is built on OpenAI. So it's going to be using GPT 3.5 Turbo, which I would suspect if you plug the same information into chat GPT, you would get the exact same response. This is the basics of Poe, is actually just using the bot. So I'm gonna go here and you can see that there's actually a list of large language models that I can use. So you can use the native assistant, you can upgrade to GPT-4, you can use a beta web search also built by Poe, or you can scroll down the list and see any other of the large language models that you wanna interface with, you can choose to interface with Lambda, which is built by Facebook. At the bottom here, GPT, Minstrel, Google Palm, Claude, Stable Diffusion, Dolly, and there's some more here. So we're gonna start with just doing Claude since it's free. And we're gonna just use one of these prompts at the bottom. So basically you're getting a similar experience from the user interface that you would get with ChatGPT, but in this case, you're interfacing with the large language model, Claude. So you can use several at the same time. All you need to do is just go click and add them and then chat with them. So I'm gonna go with that prompt and we are gonna get the response from Google Palm here. Awesome. What actually makes interesting is that you can use other people's bots built on any large language model. So we are going to take a look at image generation. I'm going to look for a logo creator. Can you help me generate a modern logo for a new you channel? It's easy as that. Not my favorite logo, but it works. Um, it's 100% free, and there's 100 more bots that I can look through of different use cases and even more specific use cases. So if I go up to Explore in the top left and I go to Travel, I can find bots that have been pre-trained in travel. So this is travel planning. We can see who it was built by in the right. You can see how many users it currently has. And we can also open their profile to take a look at what else they've built. So I'm gonna give this a try. I am traveling from Toronto to New York in February. Can you help me get flights there? All right, so we got some response. Is how many people do you prefer a day of the week? Knowing those details, help me search within your budget. 
one person is traveling, I have to fly out on Thursday. I don't care which airline. All right, so let me pull my travel agency systems to take a look at what's available for a one-way fight from Toronto on Thursday, February 8th. As mentioned, I'll search for all of them. Looks like there's a few options that day. Air Canada, United, and American Airlines. Do any of those prices appeal to you? Those price points. I do not want to go to Newark. I want to go to JFK. So in this case, I'm going to choose American Airlines. So at this point in the video, I got far too into booking a flight that I didn't plan to be on. So let's backtrack to figure out whether this is really worth it. So there's really only two reasons why you might want to use Poe. The first is if you have a need to, for some reason, use multiple large language models as just a general chatbot at the same time. I don't really feel this need. I think uh, kind of pick one. For very general, oh, I need to fix this email or I need to rewrite this paragraph, pretty much all of them perform about the same. So I just don't have a need to have access to 12 different models at once to do one job. Now, the second reason why you might wanna use this is if you can actually find a very specific bot that solves your unique problem. So we went through one of these examples, and in our case, it did help that the bot was pre-trained in travel, but I'm not totally convinced that it'll change how I book travel again. Because it's a marketplace and uh, Poe doesn't actually curate all the bots, there's gonna be a range of quality around the bots, and you might find that the bots perform worse or just the same as ChatGPT might. Alternatively, there is an opportunity where the bots are well-trained and uh, they do solve that problem a lot better. The last thing to note here is that Poe is one of many chat interfaces. The most popular other option is called Typing Mind. Typing Mind is very similar UI to Poe, where you have this navigation here on the left and you can choose the LLM you want to interface with. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're considering paying for Poe. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out more at allthingsai.com.